How good is your memory? Mine, well, I'm 61 years old, so perhaps it's not quite as good as it used to be. But just begin today with a simple question. Have you got much of a memory? Don't have to leave, leave the answers in the comments or whatever, but I'm going to go on a little bit further. Because I was just thinking back. Now, it's still morning here where I am. I've only just come down those stairs a while ago. Uh, I've just had a shower, smartened up, got ready to face the day. No pizza available at the moment, but I've come downstairs. And as I was walking downstairs, and in fact the fact that it is morning, reminded me of something a Tory minister said, I think, about four years ago. It was mentioned at the time, and if you can remind me who it was, I don't know if it was Osborne or one of them, but it went something like this. They were speaking about the need to get rid of all the scroungers and the shirkers. They were speaking about the need to eliminate this dependency culture, this welfare culture, this culture where generations of people have never had a job. And as part of that little narrative, whichever particular male Tory it was, and this is where I come to mourning and getting up, said something along the lines of, have you ever woken up in the morning, got ready to go to work, had your breakfast, opened your back or your front door, and as you were walking out towards your car or your bus stop or whatever, you noticed that the bedroom curtains next door were still closed. Now, I don't know if you were a nine to five. I mean, the guy didn't go on like this or whatever, but you had about half an hour to get to work. You were going to go to work. You were going to put in your best effort. You were going to earn some money. You were going to look after yourself. You were going to look after your family. You were going to pay for your house. You're going to pay for your rent. You're going to pay for your electricity, gas, everything. You were going to be self-sufficient, right? So the upshot of that, he then went on, was why are those curtains closed every single morning? Why is it that you have to get up and go to work and the person at number 15 apparently is never seen leaving the house. As far as we know, we only see the brown envelopes from the Social Security going through. We never see anything else. I thought this morning, now that the Tories are quite convinced that there is full employment, I wonder how that person would feel if they woke up, say, on a Monday morning this time, and just before they went out, they looked out of their bedroom window, they looked down, and they saw a disabled person. The disabled person had just about managed to manoeuvre their battered wheelchair down the narrow path by their front door. And that was kind of, they just saw them disappearing down the end of the passage. And the same person who was thinking about the curtains being pulled now saw those curtains had been opened and this disabled person was wheeling themselves with great difficulty and tremendous effort down that passage. Now, did the bloke then think to himself, oh, I feel really good now. Look, somebody else has got a job. They're not scrounging off the Social Security anymore. But what about when we now know that that person, even if they are seriously mentally or physically unfit, seriously mentally Ill, mentally Ill even if they have been diagnosed and only have about six months left to live, they're expected to get, and I put this in inverted commas, work. So what exactly makes up these full employment figures? 
zero hours contracts. For people like the disabled person who might just as easily go to work, work one hour, one hour a month, and that will be enough. They'll be regarded as fully employed. The Tories need to tell the truth. They constantly move the goalposts. How have they got more people in work than ever before? Zero hours contracts. If you don't take one, even if you're sick or you're disabled, they cut your benefits, you starve and you're out on the streets. Zero hours contract. Now our guy might do that once a month, but as far as the Social Security is concerned, as far as the government's concerned, there's a disabled person in a job that maybe they have to tra travel on a improperly ad 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 adapted transport miles to work at and probably pay more in the expenses getting there and coming back than they earn from the job. What disgusting people we have in charge of ourselves and our state and our government. Tories out, Corbyn in.